Hey guys, welcome to a couple of meows of collectors. Of collectors. So yeah, this is a weird our thoughts on. I was thinking about talking about this. I don't have any strong opinions, but I suggested it to Jade because there's been a couple things going on. And I know from kind of an outsider's perspective and someone who has been getting into Marvel Legends again that I had a lot of or some newish opinions that, you know, I know the internet is buzzing about. Uh, nothing new in terms of opinions, but uh, this is a very general one. It's just about Marvel Legends, but mainly kind of where they're at at the time before this video comes out and where they're going um, and kind of, you know, all the hubbub. If you saw in the thumbnail, we're going to talk about kind of the new design, the, the super nice design of what they're doing, plus a lot of stuff with HasLab. Because again, I'm going to speak from a non-biased perspective because a lot of some of the newer stuff they've been doing, I've been a part of. When the new Spider-Man line, which again, I bought a lot of them, um, but when those have been announced, or once they were announced, we started to see that they are going to put out new boxes for the very first time since I think they've ever, when Toy Biz had Marvel Legends, when I used to collect them, all, like, I had every single one in that first set, but there's, it's not going to have a window, it's all going to be the cardboard front with the rendered picture so you can't you can't actually see the figure which so, is yeah stupid. so you can't see the figure so people who are inbox collectors of action figures can't see properly display them um and then i guess part of it too is the price hike which has been going on again i got a lot of these i don't buy marvel legends like that i only buy sets that i kind of like so some of the expensive ones like Noel and the Venom one, uh, I ended up getting. I do like them. Some, most of them I ended up having some form of discount. I know through Target I had a bit of a discount and then through, I think, Best Buy, which is funny because they had some of them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think a lot of it too, just with the prices going up and the whole comparison, like a lot of the internet's been complaining about the McFarland stuff versus the Marvel stuff. Um, or the Marvel Legends in particular, because I feel like McFarlane, like they still have the window boxes, their detail, the, the, their figures I think are slightly bigger. They're a little more detailed. They're still cheaper. There's not as many in like a set when they do build a figures and they do a lot of one-offs too. So I know a lot of people have been kind of comparing that. The Spider-Man line is super expensive and we've been seeing like local stores have them for so much and yeah. it's just crazy to me that- what, a two pack is going for- 80, 90, 100 bucks. Oh, yeah, at like local places. Um, well, I know because I know the one spin, spinet, spinneret, I think. I'm trying to think of that one because that one I ended up buying too. That one's like 50. Um, but the Nolan Venom is like 70 something. They're still kept in the kids section, but these are not aimed towards kids. That's part, yeah. Because no parent is going to pay. Fifty dollars for a single figure. No, it's definitely a collector's piece, which is fine, but I don't know. I think you need to go out of the kids section. <laughs> well, yeah, because I know when I was growing up and Marvel Legends were first the thing. Like she saw, she knows what those look like because we see them at thrift stores and stuff like that. And obviously, you know. I'm not trying to say they, the fact that they're so much more expensive, that's how life works. That's how time works. Mm -hmm. Because back in the day, those figures, which I think were all, a little bit more detailed and like bigger and like had a lot more going on with them, were like six, seven bucks. Yeah. Like the normal ones are p decently expensive because they're 20 something bucks. But then, yeah, like the special ones, like especially some of the special ones that have been released, like the Ned and Peter Parker from Homecoming, which is like the same price as like the other ones. And I mean, I get it, but I think, you know, that's, I don't really see that one being one that people are going to buy. And then again, especially with the way the boxes are, yeah. which seems like a new norm because the next wave, which has kind of some goofy figures in it for like the new Disney plus shows one um they have the windowless boxes and I mean it just it makes them just look very 
bland they and boring. They honestly look cheaper to me. What action figures are like that? I yeah. don't, I think mo every action figure has window. And like maybe that's what thing. they're going for, something different, but it's not working. No. And then the for fact, me. yeah. And then they're making you pay more. And again, I think I'm part of that issue of like, if they're going to pop the specialty where the specialty Spider-Man ones, where they're adding it like another five bucks. The final part of this is HasLab, which HasLab, they'll fund, they'll put out a project that you should fund. Um, and if they get a certain amount of things, they fund it. They did a Sentinel. They did a big ass Galactus, which I bought. And I think it was worth it. I'm going to tell you why the newest HasLab's not, uh, which we'll probably do an unboxing of that. Um, but for $50 cheaper, they're doing a Ghost Rider one, which I think looks really cool. But for $350, bucks, they were trying to sell it as if 9,000 people did it within a week or funded it, they were going to give you a human figure of him, which should come with it because there's the options to make a normal. Yeah. They didn't hit that mark. The number was close to 6,000. It's now at like 5,400. People are like undoing it. The first tier is not until 12,000, which is the Mephisto. And again, it's $350. I feel like looking at that, I when I saw it, all I thought to myself was, okay, this is not going to be cheap, but what is it going to be? Yeah. $200? Because the Sentinel was $300. And then this is 350 I feel like this should be at least cheaper than the Sentinel because... And yeah. the Galactus is how tall? Three feet? Yeah. And, Sentinel's a little smaller. And comes with all kinds of stuff. And was how much? 400 Yeah. And it ended... Now, obviously, it ended up getting fully funded. All the tiers that were coming out were cool. And then, yeah, now it's you're paying $400 for three figures which on base we'll say 25 bucks so that's 75 mm -hmm. you're getting a whole new head mold like a fun goofy head mold which probably adds like 10 bucks and then you're getting galactus so at that point you kind of made galactus like 80 bucks cheaper yeah so and then he fully lights up and he comes with some cool stuff and you can put the figures on him mm -hmm. the ghost rider is not terrible i think the human figure needed to be in it right away i think they needed both of them to start right away. They shouldn't have done like an early bird thing. I think they just needed to go with it slowly. I don't think it's going to get funded because I don't see a big... Because this is the first time I've seen it. I mean, obviously Galactus is the only other time. But Galactus was going up. And then that last two days, people were like, okay, we're going to yeah. order it now. Ghost Rider, it's going down. And it has now a month. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to happen. And then, yeah, it's tiers are so high up too. It's just like, again, like people were saying, who, like, these HasLabs are clearly not made for kids, but, but also... These are made for collectors. This should not, this should be $200. The car, they were doing a size comparison. The car, if you stood it up, is smaller than the Sentinel. Yikes. And the Sentinel was $300. Yikes. And this is $350. I think, I think it's $300. If it's not, I know it's not $400, so it might have been $350, but... Three hundred dollars, no. and that got funded. And again, that's something where it's like a Sentinel is something that it was well, yeah. cool that they made a big one. And I think it still came with some figures. I don't think it was fully, fully like all the tiers were unlocked. But still, even at that no, point, you're still I paying three hundred dollars for a big ass figure. No, so I don't think if it's if it's not comparable to the other two big ones, then I don't see why it would be three hundred and fifty dollars if they wanted to kind of if they wanted to take advantage of the people that wanted this that extra figure should have been included from the get-go because then at least you can say well you're getting two figures yeah. so that's about 50 and just then we're get, gonna make the car 300 dollars. just get rid of a tier just yeah. get rid of a tier and make it part of what comes with it yeah i don't think it's gonna get funded it's funny seeing mcfarland do vehicles too and their vehicles are only like 40, 50 bucks yeah. in comparison. Well, so I think their store, their online store has stupid shipping. McFarlane though. store though, those customer service people rock because. Oh, for my Doom I got, figure? I got Brian a, a Doom figure and it was out of stock for a long time. So I emailed them and I was like, hey, is it possible it's going to come in stock? And they were like, I don't know. But if somebody cancels, We'll let you know. Somebody canceled. They emailed me right away, and I was able to get it. So, shout out to their customer service. Yeah, they were really good. So, 
Um, but yeah, I'm part of the issue, but I also have issues with the issue. So yeah, if you feel like you want to rant about Hasbro, leave it in the comments below. Obviously, I'd love to have a conversation. From an outsider's perspective, though, you, you definitely are in agreement with a lot of what's happening mm -hmm. with it. They're basically charging you more for less. They're, that's what chip the chip companies do. Over the years, they you you start to notice you all get the air, more that, air, and then it's like this much. This One many day it's going to be three chips at the bottom of a yeah. family size bag. Which, you know, it's one thing to charge a lot. I think it's another thing to understand. Like you can make your money and find a way for people to pay because again, with you know the way things have been going, um, people just don't got money like that. So sorry, Ghost Rider, you're probably not going to be made. So <laughs> sorry if you guys are into that. So there's been some updates to uh, the HasLab for Ghost Rider that we thought would be interesting to, okay, Raz, to um, bring up. Uh, this is stuff that we just found out today, which is good so, because we haven't uploaded the video yet. So obviously the main thing that's outdated is the number we talked about. It is lower. Uh, but the one thing that has been updated is they're not doing a full human figure anymore, but they're like, hey, that didn't get funded. So here, we're gonna give you the human head option in the hood for him. So that was one thing. And then the other thing that got updated is they have a 10,000 backer thing, the Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor. So she is supposed to be if they get 10,000. Because uh, the goal's 9,000, she's 10,000, and Mephisto's 12,000. Um, so yeah, it feels very... Desperate. Desperate um, on their part. I think they just need to lower it to 300, personally. I think if they put Dollars. it out... Dollars. Yes. Um, I think if they put it at 300, and then they announce the tier thing... And they show off, like, whatever. I think maybe they'll get more people. Who knows? Maybe this might be, like, the Galactus at the last second. But, um, yeah, it's just funny. Do you have any opinions on this other than what I said about it just seeming desperate and just funny that it just feels... No, that's my feelings on it as well. It just feels very obvious, like, oh, it didn't get funded, but uh, we're still going to give you this. Please buy our product. So yeah, I feel the exact same way. Like, comment, subscribe. We have tons of other videos. Uh, until then, um, okay, bye. Okay, bye.